since college, when Fran was a baby old school girl with an impressive variety of children. And Sol would drink only vodka cranberries because she was convinced they would improve her late night dances. A few years, a few boyfriends, girlfriends, and crummy jobs later. Fran now spends most of her time carving vegetable animals for elaborate photo shoots that she creates for her Instagram account, Squash Something Cute. She once read about something called a tax book. Sol has a propensity for slamming her coffee mug down when she has unearthed some psychic shit with one of her clients. At work, she has convinced herself and her co-workers that drip coffee from her machine at home tastes just as good, even better, than lavender single origin maple syrup latte from Monsieur C. Satin Co., which costs about $6.95. For Christmas, she asks only for Miss Wiggy memorabilia. Ooh, you are popular tonight. It's probably just someone from the Cauliflower Cats group thread. In fact, Fran had just noticed that her bank account was mysteriously dropping by $4.95 at two minute intervals. Could it be a payment for her website or her domain name? She never really did understand how that worked. Her Hulu subscription? Or that Greenpeace donation that she was tricked into when she was a little drunk at the mall? I put another one of those letters in your cubby for you. Maybe you should just open one and see what it says. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. It'll just be something from Verizon. I'll throw it out tomorrow. No one had told Fran that when she grew up, that in addition to having a regular career, that she would have to embrace a secret administrative vocation. Did you see I fixed your umbrella for you? Instead of buying a new one, just get a nib from a pen and sew it to the umbrella where it has come off. Reattach it to the umbrella like so. Before you know it, your umbrella's as good as new and you haven't spent a cent. You're the best. Where the hell did you get the time to do that? Oh, I just woke up at three and couldn't get back to sleep, so I thought, why not? I also fixed the door, I rearranged all the books, by author, subject, and star sign, and got Wiggy to autograph this photo. So often wakes up in the middle of the night to check her monthly budget. Did something bite you? Good God, I hope not. It's just a bit edgy. What if it's important? Can I open it for you? You know, you're acting like one of my fucking patients. Do it tomorrow. Think of any movies where widows blow their inheritances to Jimmy? Hmm, I wish. I gotta get to work. Don't forget to pay the electricity bill, okay? She didn't like the color of that paper. And then it hit her. Her fucking student loan. Whatever happened to that public service loan forgiveness thingy? Broke, 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 broke. Hang on. Is that Ian Fran? What do you make of this? Well, well, this is most unsettling. Could your boss have Dr. Green stuff? God knows. I'll figure it out. Could you spot me like 50 bucks? I'll pay you back when I get paid next week. Uh, I mean, you mean money? Well, I, I get compensated in flies and mosquitoes. Uh, I, don't, I don't actually get the bucks. She was thinking that you get paid raking it in. <laughs> I mean, uh, what, what can you buy in a swamp? Well, 
I mean, come to think of it, I, I do have a sponsorship deal with the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. And I, I suppose my pond is an Airbnb, yeah. How about your pay? What do you, Wiki, what do you get paid in? <laughs> pay me? Yeah, cold hard cash. I mean, what do you get paid for doing what you do? Well, I, uh, I, I don't really get paid. I, we just like to have fun together. Yep, that's right. You mean you do this for nothing? <laughs> this on top of everything else. I swear I paid back that student loan. It's freaking me out. I totally forgot. Oh, Fred, I mean, the, the frogs at the pond are really on my back about this. I mean, we're trying to build a pond jetty. I know. Look, I just need one more week. I'm sorry, Kermit. Yeah. Sermit. Fran, I, I hate to do this, but uh, I, I need you to pay me that $2,000 by Monday, okay? I, I mean, that's a hard deadline. Yeah. Do you need a little more exercise? And a little extra cash? Stop working with me. Uber or Lyft. And get with the real in. Become a big boy binary. Introducing the new, old. What does BLDR stand for, you may be asking? <laughs> Nothing less than Bitcoin Legion debt relief. It fits over nearly any attire. Oh. Hello, whether that's oh, sportswear, workwear, or evening attire. As compensation, we send funds directly to your debtors to take some of that weight off your back. Our studies show that just 20 hours a week with the boulder, and you'll be debt free to no time. You won't even notice it. Made from debt-free materials and high-interest aspirations, the boulder can be hidden with this easy-to-use boulder cake. Get smart and free yourself from financial burden with boulder. Sol has taken on some extra clients because she too is a little behind on her student loans. She's worried she's becoming a little obsessed over it and finds herself constantly writing out anticipated expenses on any napkin she can get her hands on. So how I keep you? imagining all my coworkers' mouths with dollar bills pinned to them, like pinned to their lips. Isn't that fucked? That's a new one. It's not just one dollar bills. It's like hundred dollar bills. In meetings, oh, I'm so distracted. How often is it happening? Like all the time. I can't stop it. You've heard of that before, right? Mm, do you remember the strategies we talked about at last session? I keep scrolling, oh, the scrolling, I scroll through those websites, you know, 20 quick ways how to make quick cash. Oh, what's the website called? Uh, penny taker, pocket pincher, oh, it's a wallet wobble. Pennyhoarder.com. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Focus groups and... Selling your sperm, becoming 
a human lab rat where you have to give your blood and brain follicles on weekdays. Soul wonders how unprofessional it is to tell her patient that she also checks pennyhoarder.com three times a week. She wants to whisper in an exasperated voice, Me too. And due to this overpowering desire, keeps her eyes locked on her nose. Do you ever think about looting? What on earth is that? It's my new workout folder. 2020 is going to be my year of fitness. I'm going to sort it out. You look like a surf. Oh, it's not that bad. Smoke. It'll offset my smoking. Fran, you have a cigarette in your mouth. Change takes time. Francine, please increase your movements as the Bitcoin mining mode will be activated. Why is your fitness rock talking about bitcoins? <laughs> down because uh, she just found out that Peppa Pig has more endorsements than her. I'm crushed. I'm destroyed. I'm ruined. <gasps> it's over. <laughs> Can Peppa Pig even get endorsements? The sun will never shine on this pig. Oh, death. I mean, my phone battery dying. Really? Well, in that case, I've got great life hacks to help extend your battery life beyond the usual five hours. Firstly, reduce your screen brightness. While changing your display, change your timeout to 15 seconds rather than the usual minute. Lastly, Turn off your Bluetooth, as this gives you an extra hour of battery life so you can stay connected. So it's uncanny the way you can do that. Thank you. Hello? Yes, this is her. How much? Really that much? Well, I don't understand because I did the PBLF program and there's got to be some kind of mistake because it's meant to be forgiven. What kind of collateral? Sorry, I'm breaking up. God, I've got to go to work. One of those two way. Sure do. Have we made any money yet? Hmm, not yet. I kind of wonder if it's bullshit. It's a pain killing my back. Oh, I've decided it's time to cut the crap and sell my teeth. What? Oh, it's a way smarter way to make a quick 5K. Ridiculous question, but don't you need your chompers? Teeth? Overrated. Chewing? Time consuming. I just 
pop in some false ones and get some soilette. I mean, I would do my kidneys, but I have high blood pressure. My teeth are good to go. The words good to go slowly rumbled through Fran's head. She didn't have high blood pressure, and she could tell Sol after she'd made the sale. She had enough on her plate with that nasty itch anyway. Just go to this site. They actually have a special deal this month. Hey, uh, so have you made any headway on the you-know-what situation? Have you checked under your couch cushions? Most of my cash reserves are safely stored there. I was actually thinking about the body part tray. Yeah. It's either that or a Ludiger Walmart. Hmm. Too crazy. I mean, uh, it's an unconventional finance plan. So look at this. A toe goes for like 5,000 bucks. It could be my ticket out of this mix. Why? Hey, you know, uh, I've always wondered what it would be like to have a set of teeth. Darling, the tabloids would go wild for a new smile from Surrey. Yeah, and I mean, it might be good for ratings. We could be on the cover of Vogue! You know, I mean, as much as I like eating flies and mosquitoes, uh, I mean, think of the thrill of eating hard candy or nuts or sweet carrots. Well, they go for about $5,000 a pop. <laughs> ah, hey, uh, would it be too much to ask for your teeth, Fran? Well, if you wiped my debt, I'd sell them to you. I mean, I, I know it's a bit unusual, but, uh, you, you know, I could always give them back if they don't suit me. <laughs> Come on. Teeth are teeth. If they suit me, I am sure they will suit you. All right. Well, uh, hey, why don't I give you that $3,000 and we'll call it even? Mm. Let's do it. But we better get it over and done with mm. before yes. Sol gets home. Yes. Now, you have done this at least once. In 1987, when I played a dental hygienist on Broadway. Hold on to your French champagne! What the hell are you all doing? Oh, Fran was just about to sell her teeth to Surrey, dear. You were out just in time. You could be my assistant. Say, uh, would you mind if I borrowed your phone? The check from my agent bounced yesterday. Perfect, Peggy. Perfect. Your teeth? What the hell were you thinking? I think it's clear that I wasn't. Uh, hey, you agreed! I know, I know. Um, Sarah and I, we need to go. Yes, uh, we need to make an appearance at the Not The Bucket Show after party. Bye everyone, ciao, ciao, ciao. Hey, uh, don't think I've forgotten about those pennies. Uh, you still owe me, Fran. Why would you do this? Your fucking teeth. Isn't it obvious? I'm headed toward financial ruin. Say goodbye to dignity. Hold up. Financial ruin? Look at this. My bank account is plummeting. Yeah. And I was wearing a fucking rock on my back. Was it those letters? I told you! I know. I know. I'm an idiot. Where's your surf rock? I dumped it on the subway. It's killing my back. I feel like I was spinning out. End of time is by. I kept watching looting YouTube videos on the train today. I think that the end of the stay could be good for us, Dieters. A little hard to predict, though. Maybe our debts could be dissolved. No state, no debts. Cue me, Dragon. Giant flight screen TV out of Walmart. We could use two easy life hacks to make our looting easier. Bring two large straps with you. Make a loop, attach them to the TV like so, and 
use electrical tape. This will make dragging any stolen goods out of the store a piece of cake. Second, hide your identity from cameras and facial recognition software. You can do this by painting your face like so to distort your features. Where the hell do you go when you do that? My life hack happy place. You know, I owe $90,000 in student loans. Fuck. That much? And here I was thinking it was just little old me flipping out, selling teeth and whatnot. Why do you think I'm obsessed with life hacks? Good point. Maybe we should just go to a tax haven for women in the Caribbean. Or there's the far less glamorous option. Attempt the hellish task of finding a cleaner, cheaper, but most likely crumblier apartment. Come on. Tax haven, for sure. Next week on Itchy IOUs, Sol and Fran head to an intergalactic tax haven. Fran's veggie animal account, squash sucking cucumber, becomes Instagram famous, and she gets an art collector. Will fame bring her wealth and a herbalist business?